Yeah, 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 it's me, the one and only DJ J. Erica, y'all. And I am back on YouTube. And, of course, to talk about the BET Awards 2019. Thank you so much, BET, for giving me my entire life, okay? Honestly, I was shocked because it really took a good 10 years for me to be like, okay, BET just did that shit again. Now, we went through a long drought. I know a lot of people listen to and watch BET for a long time. Remember the classic BET Awards where they had Monique hosting. They had Michael Jackson, James Brown performing. But then we went through a, a period for like the past eight years or so where it was just so slow tempo to me with the BET Awards, awards excuse me, personally, um, because I just felt like it wasn't that uh, there. It wasn't that soul there. It wasn't that amount of talent, you know. But this year, BET has really brought it back to the talent. It's not a bunch of payroll artists that just happened to get on stage and perform it. <laughs> they really brought the house down. They had live performances. I don't recall seeing people lip singing. If they were, baby, I didn't know the difference, okay? Um, going on a list of performers that I, that it was highlight for me, Lizzo, she killed that. She killed her performances. She did the song uh, Truth Hurts. And when I tell you that she slayed it, she did that. Shout out to Lizzo. And of course, I'm going to have to do a, a review of Lizzo album. And we're going to talk about her even more on the channel because I really just, she's like my new top fave of 2019. And we're just, I just love seeing a curvy black, black woman doing her thing, a big girl doing her thing. And she legit has talent. When she bust out with that flute and started to twerk, I said, okay. It's a problem, okay? It's a problem. That's in a good way. Um, the next performance that I do recall is her. Her, H-E-R. If y'all don't know who she is, she won a, a couple of Grammys this year. I think she won more than one. I don't know, but she won... Uh, yeah, I think she won a couple of Grammys this year. She did win. Um, and she killed the stage. She did a very politically charged performance about racial inequality. I mean, anybody that's missing out on her, y'all need to get to know her and go follow her. Okay. Um, that was one of my favorite performances really of the night. Um, along with that, I can't stop thinking about the Mary J. Bly's tribute. She received her Lifetime Achievement Award. And I was just so in awe of the, the gratitude everybody showed. And she did that when she got on stage and kicked the door down, y'all. When I tell you she got on stage and kicked the damn door down, okay? She went through every hit. I mean, how many hits did Mary J. Blythe have? I, I mean, I know her entire catalog because my mom, I was running around in diapers and everything else. My mom would play her music all the time. So I know and listen to Mary J. Blythe my whole life. And when I tell you she did not lose a beat, I felt like I was at a Mary J. Blythe concert. When she was done, I was wondering, is there tickets on sale or can I come and join? I was very upset that I wasn't at that award show because when I tell you, baby, it went from it being BT Awards to a Mary J. Blige concert to a soul session. I mean, it was people dancing in the audience and I'm talking about all walks of life in there. The most hardcore dude is in there, pop locking in for Mary J. Blige. So I just want to give a shout out to Mary J. Blige. We love you. And I'm glad that you're getting your flowers while you're here. And of course, I'm sure you're going to be here for many decades to come. Um, Rihanna, highlight Rihanna showed up there and she um tribute her and gave her award. So that was something that I was just like, yes, yes, of course. It's so it was nice to see the stars in the BET Awards because we went through a period where a lot of the A-listers felt like they were just too good and too uh to show up to the BET Awards. So it was just nice to see that um that A-list celebrity circle there. A lot of people that hadn't been to BT Awards in a long time was there. The fact that Rihanna showed up, she's super A-list, the highest paid female musician right now in the world. So, you know what? I don't know, who, you know, who was, I know that uh, Regina Hall hosted the BT Awards, but I know she, of course, she got help. And whoever the producers was that helped her along with getting this together, stellar job, stellar performances, stellar work. I, I really have no complaints. And honestly, I was highly impressed. They got it right. They really, really got it right. They got the performances right. They got the awards right. And I really don't have many complaints at all. I don't have no complaints, actually. And that's a shocker because a lot of times when I watch the BT Awards, I have like a lot of complaints. Like, what the hell is this? Or what the hell is that? Um, another highlight performers, Cardi B. Of course, she did her thing. Um, I enjoyed DJ Mustard and the, and the um, 
in the Mingos BT Awards. Of course, they just they really just did their thing. They really everybody came up there. They had a lot of energy. I don't know how many times they had the people rehearse, but keep that amount of time for rehearsal because everybody came out there and they did their thing. I don't recall seeing anybody lip singing, and that's the stuff that I miss as someone who reviews music. I guess you call me a critic. Is watching. Um, performers perform and really, really perform and not be cheap with it and use backup tapes and stuff like that. And maybe if they did, I couldn't tell because they were killing it. They were performing. They were giving it their all. And um, just to go back to Mary J. Blige's performance, she killed it. And she had Little Kim up there. Little Kim looked fantastic. Met the man up there. Met, met the man did his thing. He looked fantastic. It was just like black don't crack. Okay. I just, I just loved it. Um, this next what's next okay tyler perry well deserved well deserved uh icon award he is an icon and his speech stuck to me because he really said some important things in his speech and he talked about how tyler perry studios used to be um a confederate army for people who fought to keep negroes enslaved and now uh, one negro is owing that it's owning that whole area and that whole land and it was just really it was very you know, humbling to see, you know, and know where Tyler Perry come from to see that he has employed so many black actresses and actors and help his entire community get a leg up in the business. And when they did the tribute, they had legends like Cicely Tyson and a lot of people who became before Tyler Perry that he watched on TV where he is now employing them. And, you know, it's just like, it's so nice to see when black people are inspired and they grow up and then they work with the black folks that inspired them. And that's something that we should really highlight. Um, that was a good thing. Of course, um, the humanitarian awards, that was an icon award that Tyler Perry won. The humanitarian awards went up to, um, the MC Hustle was very deserving of that. Um, and of course his whole family was there, including Lauren London, his mother and his children. And it was very beautiful to see them come on stage and accept his award and may Nipsey Hustle continue to rest in peace. It's so unfortunate um, that his life was cut short. Um, and, you know, it's just something that's a totally different subject that I probably would discuss on my podcast on to, you know, why, you know, why can't we as a society just try our hardest to really stop the violence and protect those who are helping us. Um, that's something that we have flawed in, but I don't want to take the energy too far down. So I just want to get back up. Okay. And of course the other performance that we had, um, we had the gospel performance. Of course, they always taken it to church, Kurt Franklin and all of them. They were all up there. They did it. They did the thing. They took it to church. Let's do a praise back for amen. A God, a amen. God, thank you, Jesus. And I felt that with my spirit. Um, let what's left what's left um you know pretty much it was a stellar stellar bt awards you know what i mean i really don't have any complaints about it um no honestly if i can give it you know of course my rating i would say a solid a um and for their um tribute so who they tribute this year i gave them a plus so they get an a plus this year Good job, BT, for real. Um, and before I end this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell and follow me. And of course, check out my podcast. I have new podcasts coming up soon. I know a lot of people's wondering when are you coming back with the podcast? The podcast is coming. We got an interview with Eamon. Oh yeah. Um, he got a brand new single that's coming out and it's a lot of great entertainers that are going to be interviewing that's new to the scene. That's definitely killing it. Make sure you tune into my show, of course, and follow me everywhere on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all the links are below. My link tree is going to be at the bottom. So you guys can click in and tune in. Okay and keep supporting. All right, y'all. Peace.